Compliance training is a real burning issue in a lot of corporates these days. And a lot of this comes in two different directions. Firstly, in how to actually deliver the training that you have to deliver. And secondly, how to monitor and enforce the compliance level across your company. And I think the importance of compliance training really can't be overstated. It's often seen as a sort of, oh, we must do this, you know, no one wants to, but we have no choice. But I think actually compliance-led training can have a big influence on an organisation. Uh, it can really affect its culture and it can really affect how business is done. And I think particularly when you first get people in for an induction, how you teach them the processes of the business will make a massive impact into how effective they are, how quickly they're useful to your organisation, and really how the whole organisation works from top down. And I think there are a few key things you can think about when you're trying to design compliance training to ensure that you're really getting the benefit out of it and you're not wasting your staff's time or your own time as you know, a HR or a learning development department in delivering this. You, know, you need to make sure it's effective and you need to make sure it's worthwhile. And I think the first thing to look at is actually what content are you training them on? Uh, both in the sense of is the content engaging, is it interesting, is it good to work through, but also what topics are you dealing with? A lot of companies go in one of two directions, they either have too little compliance training uh, which is almost as pointless as having none at all because you're not actually covered legally, you can't evidence the training you've taken and it doesn't really have any impact on learners, there's no real effect, they're not really uh, adapting to the culture because they haven't actually had that much training. So having too little training is almost as bad as having none at all, you're not really making a big impact. The flip side to this is having too much. If people are taking a huge amount of training, particularly if they're taking training that isn't relevant to their job role, if they don't believe it's effective, uh, they don't believe has any day-to-day -day impact on their life or their career and you get massive user unengagement at that stage and people just switch off from all of the training even the stuff that's actually quite relevant to them you end up with the whole system being tired of the same brush so i think there's basically a goldilocks paradox to look at there's a happy medium where you have to find the middle ground and you have to find the ability to judge where that is and that will be different for different staff groups so for instance we work a lot with hospitals and for instance, someone who's patient facing on a ward, who's clinical staff, is gonna have a lot more compliance training than someone that's non-patient facing administrative staff. And that's okay, and it's fine to allow that. And the trick is to work with your LMS to actually have all of that happen automatically. So the way we often work is to have LMSs that can actually assess what job role someone has, uh, what directorate they sit under, what staff group they're in, and hence, assign them training automatically based on those rules. Now, you can always override those. You can have special situations. Maybe someone's a first aider, and hence they need a bit more training. But this means a lot of the legwork of actually deciding what the appropriate amount of training is for that user is done for you. So it takes a lot of the stress out of it. Alongside this, you need to work on the content that you're actually delivering. As I mentioned before, the most key thing is that the content's actually relevant to the person's job, and that it actually matters to them. But also you want the content to be engaging. By possible, you want it to be short and you want it to be easy to digest. You know, it's no good hitting someone the information governance policy that's 50 pages long in size 10 font and a large PDF because, to be honest, they won't read it. Most people never read terms and conditions on anything. And I'm pretty sure the last time you installed a piece of software, an application, you didn't read the full terms and conditions provided. And they just won't read your document. They'll tick the box to say they have and that'll be the end of it. However, if you develop something interactive, like an interactive video, a piece of SCORM content, Something that actually engages the user's mind, takes them through the topics, and more importantly, takes them through the why of the policy, not just the how. And that's really the key secret to engagement on compliance learning, is to make sure that they understand why they're being taught these things and why these policies are in place. And I think for HR department, the key question is, why are these policies in place? And if you as HR can't answer that, maybe you need to reassess the policy. Because I think that at any point, you should be able to justify any policy that's in place to any member of your staff, and it should be a clear and obvious justification. And sometimes that's quite simple, like there's a legal reason, there's a, a certain law we have to obey. And sometimes it's a bit more complex. There might be a cultural reason, there might be a, a reason why this company works in that way. But I think you have to have those answers prepared and sprinkle them in the training. Make sure that the learners are engaged because they understand why they're doing this training. And then the how of the training has to be engaging as well. Make sure that it's nice and simple, easy to understand, it doesn't take up too much time. And I think you'll really find that you can drive up compliance levels without using the stick approach of enforcing it and punishing those who don't take the training seriously. You can just make sure the training is simple, easy to do, and has a positive outlook 
and then people will naturally take the training that you provide.